Hello students. Today the topic of our lesson is London's summer morning. In this video I would explain and paraphrase the poem. First I am going to read the first six lines of the poem. Who has not waked to list the busy sounds of summer's morning in the sultry smoke, of noisy London on the pavement hot? The sooty chimney boy with dingy face and tattered covering shrilly balls his straight, rousing the sleepy housemaid at the door. In this poem, the poetess surprisingly asks as to who has not yet got up from sleep, as she sees that everyone is busy with his work in the noisy part of London on a summer morning. The weather is hot and humid. She notices the chimney boy whose face is covered with black uh, soot because he cleans the chimneys of the houses there. He is walking on the pavement in his old torn cloths and shouting to attract the attention of the people about his job. Due to the noise in the street, the housemaid wakes up from sleep. Now the next nine lines of the poem. Rousing the sleepy housemaid at the door, the milk pail rattles and the tinkling bell proclaims the dustman's office while the street is lost in clouds, impervious now begins. The din of the hackney coaches, wagons, carts, while tin men's shops and noisy trunk makers, knife grinders, coopers, squeaking cork cutters, fruit barrows and the hunger giving cries of vegetable vendors fill the air. Explanation At the door, the milkman with his milk bucket is standing. The dustman, while dusting, is ringing the bell as a gesture of announcing that it is morning time. At that time, the street is covered in clouds. Now the sounds of horse-drawn carriages, wagons and carts have already started, whereas the tin men's shops are open and the noise of the box makers, knife grinders, barrel makers, squeaking cork cutters, fruit barrows, the hunger giving cries of vegetable sellers are all around there. the next seven lines of the poem. Now every shop displays its varied trade, and the fresh sprinkled pavement cools the feet of early walkers at the private door. The ruddy housemaid twirls the busy mop, annoying the smart patience or neat girl, tripping with bandbox lightly now the sun darts burning splendor on the glittering pane. Explanation Now the shops are open for the customers to see all the trading goods. The footpath on which water has recently been sprinkled is cool enough for the early walkers. At the door of one of the houses, a red-faced housemaid is mopping. She annoys a smart and neat girl when she trips over the laundry box lying on the side of the road. The sun is getting brighter and throwing the dazzling light on the window glass. Five more lines of the poem. Save where the canvas awning throws a shade on the gay merchandise. Now spruce and trim in shops where beauty smiles with industry, sits the smart damsel, while the passenger peeps through the window, watching every charm. Explanation But there is no brightness where there is the canvas used for sunshade, which is over the shops of colorful and beautiful trade goods. 
canvas is used to avoid the heat and the brightness of the sun. There is an unmarried, smart and neat girl smiling there in one of the beauty parlors. A passerby looks through the window to see the beauty of the goods and the girl. Uh, six more lines. Now, pastry dainties catch the eye minutes of humming insects while the limey snare waits to enthrall them. Now, the lame lighter mounts the tall ladder, nimbly ventures to trim the half-filled lamps while at his feet the pot boy yells discordant along, all along. Explanation In a bakery shop, different sweet items attract the humming insects, for which the traps with the sticky substance have been set and are waiting to catch them. The lamp lighter mounts the tall ladder to quickly trim the wicks and fill the lamps with oil. The pot boy, the waiter, is standing below and is shouting in an inharmonious way to draw the attention of the customers. The sultry pavement, the old cloth man cries, in tone monotonous while sidelong views, the area for the traffic, now the bag, is slightly opened and the half worn suit. Sometimes the pilfered treasure of the base domestic spoiler, for one half its worth, sinks in the green abyss, the porter now. Explanation The day is sultry as it is hot and humid all around. On the pavement, the old clothsman, who generally calls in a dull tone, views the flow of traffic on his one side of the road. His bag is slightly open and the used suit is seen. It seems to be a treasure stolen by a thief. The price is half its original value. It means the prices of the half worn cloths have gone too low. The last four lines of the poem. The porter now bears his huge load along the burning way and the poor poet wakes up from busy dreams to paint the summer morning. Explanation Another scene is that of a porter who is carrying a heavy load along the hot road under the scorching sun. At this time, the poor poet wakes up from busy dreams of deeply observing the active life of people so as to write poetry about the summer mornings in London. Uh, dear students, I hope that you would have understood the whole poem line by line. Thank you very much. Goodbye.